Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be for the sun, moon, and rising sign of Leo. Leo, this is your monthly general reading for March 2020. Please keep in mind that this is an intuitive reading. Now, I'm using the Wisdom of the Avalon Oracle along with the Angel Answers Oracle. I will be using the Gateway to the Divine Tarot for your monthly general messages. All right, Leo. So let's see what energies come out here for you for March. Thank you, spirits. We are ready. Ooh, I love it. So we just have this amazing energy of joy coming through here. Very powerful. I feel like something's going to take place, or maybe it has already taken place, Leo, that has really brought a lot of happiness, okay, and peace into your life. Thank you, Spirit. All right, angels, what messages do you have for Leo? Sun, moon, and rising. All right. So we have the energy of communicate clearly. Your angels want you to have clear communication. I'll get into more of this uh, as soon as I get your cards laid out here. Thank you, Spirit. All right, Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. What does Leo need to know in March? Thank you, Spirit. Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising Spirit. What does Leo need to know? Woo, we got we got some flyers there. We have Judgment, and we have the Ace of Cups. So, Judgment, Ace of Cups. Leo, I feel like this is what's happened here. What This is what's bringing in this joy. You've taken time out to do a review, maybe in a past, on a past cycle or chapter in your life here and you have taken uh, challenges and difficulties and I feel like you've turned them into knowledge and that knowledge is pure power that can never be taken from you it's something that you can use in the presence in the present <laughs> you can use in the present or in the future this helps you for, to keep from repeating any challenges that you've been through because you'll see the red flags you'll you'll see someone wearing a false mask because it's something that you've been through and you you took time out to learn from it and I feel like in doing so it's given you a second chance here it's given you right of passage to maybe close the door on a difficult cycle that you've been through and spirits coming in here to make sure your cup is refilled and you're rejuvenated so this is an amazing energy and I feel like this is what's causing all this joy and this happiness for you uh, for many of you this was a hard one situation when we're talking about closing and ending a chapter in your book of life here and starting a new one thank you spirits thank you spirits all right, we are ready. Beautiful. Current situation, we have the Eight of Wands. In your foundation, we have the tower. Now this tower has already happened. Recent past energy, we have the Six of Swords. Crowning you is the Nine of Coins. Your new circumstance is faith, which would be the Hierophant. In the position of what you need to know, you have the Ace of Wands. In your environment is the Knight of Cups. Your advice from Spirit, beautiful, is the Empress. Your outcome energy, love it, King of Wands. All right. Thank you, Spirit. Give me just a moment here. All right. Definitely rebuilding here. Definitely rebuilding in some area of your life. 
you definitely had a tower moment and you, you let it fall and now you're using this tower energy right here in your foundation for fuel to start to rebuild what what was no longer serving you okay and and now you are laying a solid unshakable foundation leo this has already happened there's been a breakthrough here so you are definitely uh your cup is being refilled here that's what's bringing in this joy this happiness uh you're leaving behind something that was very difficult very challenging and you know now I feel like you have foresight about where you're headed, where you're going. You know how you're going to rebuild. And that really does bring a sense of joy, peace, and happiness. All right? Now, what I'm getting here from your angels, communicate clearly. They're talking about communicating clearly to them. Okay? It's going to be very important for uh, what you are manifesting right now, that you have that clear communication. Don't um, <clears throat> don't be stubborn. Ask for what you want. Ask for what you're wanting to co-create with spirit here, Leo. Because you'll find out if you are true on your intentions about what you want, you will receive it. Okay? But, you know, you, you've got to have that laser-focused intention here. And embodying that energy of the magician. And using that clear communication. Because once you make your mark, all right, you're not going to miss. You know, and I'm just getting here. You need to be more open. Bring those ideas, those thoughts. Give it life. And what I mean by this is speaking it into existence, okay? And setting your intentions, your angels want to know what it is that you're wanting to rebuild and co-create here. And your guides. Because they want to start working behind the scenes for you, Leo. So make sure you are communicating what you want. They're ready. They're ready to start paving the way for you. That's very exciting. I love it. Love it, Leo. <clears throat> Alright, we have the Eight of Wands as your current situation. This is a powerful energy. This talks about what you put out into the universe is going to be coming back very quickly, Leo. And it's something positive. It's something exciting. For some of you, this is career or job opportunities. This could be interviews. This could, this could be you uh, receiving a phone call, an email, uh, you know, alerting you that you've got the job or you have an interview that's set up, okay? Some of you could be traveling. You could be uh, relocating as well. But whatever this is, it's very exciting. There's a lot of passion behind it. It's something you've been waiting on. So news is coming in here. Now, for some of you uh, that are open and they're wanting a new relationship, uh, get yourself out there because this could be the arrows of love as well. So there could be many opportunities for you to meet that, uh, that person that uh, you've been wishing for, dreaming for, praying for, okay? Now, we have the tower in your foundation. This is what's moving you forward. This is what's driving you in March 2020, Leo. It's already happened. This represents you have uh, really done some inner work. There's breaking down bad habits. This is you purging your feelings. This is you having an emotional breakthrough. This is you releasing letting go of anything or anyone that's no longer serving you so you can rebuild your life and you're use you're doing spiritual alchemy right here leo okay uh even with uh judgment and that ace of cups that flew out you know you are turning things that are unsavory you're 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 using it as fuel to you know get a desired outcome here and that's you being the manifester and co-creator of your reality you're being the alchemist here so powerful energy now in your recent past you have the six of swords this is still fresh on your mind because it's on your reading like i said 
you have recently left behind that five energy, challenges, difficulties, obstacles. You're moving out of choppy waters into smoother and calmer waters where it's bringing in this peace, it's bringing in this joy and harmony and balance into your life. Now, you have the nine of coins coming up here in your crowning position. This is what you know. This is what you're thinking about. Many of you did leave behind a toxic relationship. Maybe it wasn't toxic. Maybe it just wasn't going anywhere. Maybe you grew apart. Whatever the situation is, I'm getting the energy of you riding solo right now. I feel for many of you, you've got your money on your mind. And that's positive as well. We have to eat. We have to pay our bills, right? So there's nothing wrong with that. You know, this is a sense of independence, achievement here. Uh, working towards stability and security in your life, especially when we're talking about your finances. For some of you, you know, you are working towards or you may already start to be feeling some type of material harvest coming to fruition in your life. I'm getting excited. This is uh, very powerful right here. All right, so we have faith, which is the energy of the Hierophant as your new circumstance or opportunity. This is the energy of Taurus right here. Some of you may have a Taurus in your life that you could be dealing with. I feel for many of you, this is the energy you are embodying. This is you understanding, Leo, that you hold the keys, you know, to your success right here. This is you taking those keys, unlocking doors that were once locked for you. Or this is you walking down a path that you felt was blocked. Everything is lifted here. It's almost like everything has been... The, the light has been shown on any dark space or anything that has felt clouded or where there was uncertainty. Now it's lit up and you have the clarity that you need to be successful, to move forward. Uh, I'm definitely getting here for some of you. You recently went through that dark night of the soul. You've, it's like the phoenix rising from the ashes here. You've been reborn in a spiritual sense here. Many of you are on a very, very powerful spiritual journey. Uh, some of you are reading, uh, are reaching the point of mastery right here uh, as well, okay? I feel a major energy shift for many of you. So that's an amazing energy. I feel it. I'm, the hair on my arms are, is sticking up here. I'm starting to feel it. I'm starting to stutter. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens. <laughs> Spare with me. Very powerful. I love it. I love it, Leo. You've worked so hard, my friends. And I feel like what you've been working towards is finally starting to pay off in a big way for you. Uh, if you're not seeing it now, you will very soon. I promise. Now, for some of you, this is definitely uh, you making a commitment to your spiritual journey, your higher self, what you're working towards or creating here. Some of you are mentors, your teachers. You help others along their journey, their path as well. Uh, this can represent maybe some of you moving up within a company, uh, maybe uh, stepping into a new experience, okay? Uh, that's amazing as well, but very powerful right here. I'm getting a sense of authority with this energy, you know, I, you know, it's very powerful, I'm, I'm enjoying it here, <clears throat> excuse me, Leo, uh, some of you may have uh, stepped into a new role where, you know, you have some type of authority, um, very nice, very nice, I'm loving the energy here. So, you have the Ace of Wands coming up here in the position of what you need to know, and I love it, this is you, you know, after a time of hardships, challenges, and difficulties, you've broken free, you've released, and now you're being re-inspired, okay? You're being re-inspired to go after something that you have so much passion about. This is a new beginning. Maybe it's a creative uh, endeavor here. Maybe this is uh, starting a new business, going after that dream job. And this is you having the self-confidence. This is you making it a reality, taking action here, giving that dream or that idea. You're literally giving birth to it right here, Leo. 
Now you have the Knight of Cups coming in here in your environment. This is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. I definitely get a sense there's going to be a blessing or an offer coming in here. For some of you, this is definitely a chance to maybe move or relocate. This could be a job offer, a career move. This could be an offer, maybe a business partnership to start a home business. Or this could be your creative uh, vision right here that you're giving birth to and you're going to start a business from home as well. Now for some of you, you've definitely given birth to a real life. You're bringing a baby home. Alright, and that's a blessing, right? Beautiful energies. Now you have the Empress, and this is your advice from Spirit. Keep doing what you're doing, Leo. You're on the right path right here. This talks about, you know, you continue to plant your seeds, continue to nurture them, because there will be a material harvest coming in here. The Empress is the number three. This represents what you put out is going to come back threefold, and it's going to be very powerful. Those of you that have your own business, this is going to be more clients. This is going to be more contracts, more, more money coming in. For those of you that are in a career or job, you're going to be moving up. There's going to be more opportunities becoming available. Whatever this is, you know, this is something that you have you have breathed life into and you're going to have abundance coming from it spirit says so and it's amazing now you have this powerful bold energy this is my favorite king right here the king of wands all right whether you're male or female this is you leo aries and sagittarius energy you know whatever this king sets out to do this king gets done okay doesn't let anybody or anything get in the way of what he's going after because he has so much drive and passion this is an energy of authority this is an energy of a, a leadership role right here okay it's that go-getter energy this is you taking action in your life for some of you this is taking back power and control over your circumstances over your situation powerful energy Leo beautiful beautiful i love it remember communicate what it is that you want bring it to life breathe it out say it let your angels and your guides and the universe run with it so they can start paving the way behind the scenes for you all right you deserve this abundance and this success leo you've worked hard all right leo i love each and every one of you with all of my heart Please leave me a comment. Let me know how these energies are playing out in your situation. I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye, Leo.